Okay, in this example, we'll demonstrate how to quickly set up a note card giver when your users, uh, so your users can interact with your objects. So in this first example, you can see I have a couple started already, mobile learning and immersive learning. And this floating text that you see over these is sort of Second Life's way of indicating that there's a, uh, a linked object, a hyperlinked object. So you could click this and either perhaps be teleported to a different um, region, it might hand me a note card. It could give me a couple of different things. I don't really know until I interact with it. So if I click it, what we want to do is offer our users a note card. So if I click Keep, I can see this um, note card right here with a little description of the research report. So in this example, let me scroll that back over. I start off with uh, what appears to be a texture, which is really just a, it's like a JPEG that's embedded into the text. If I click it, get a, a view of the actual cover, so you can include um, JPEG images in there. And here's a description of, of course, of the actual report just um, taken from the, uh, the Guild website. So let's go ahead and set one up for the synchronous learning systems. So if I scroll up here to my note card, it really just contains a script and then the note card that you want to display. So this one right here is set up for the immersive learning system. So I'm just going to click both of these drag them, didn't want to accept it, select both of these and drag it to the synchronous learning object. And you can see when I get that little white icon like that, it means it's ready to accept it. And it put both of these into its contents. So because this one was created for the immersive learning systems, it has the prefix uh, ILS. I could leave that name the same and just change the contents, but for proper housekeeping, I'm going to go ahead and just rename it. So I'll call this SLS. And because I'm changing the name there, I'll want to change it also in the actual script, because the script is going to reference this note card. So double click the script, you can see right here, eLearning Guild ILS, that's what referenced it the first time. So SLS, and the title of the floating text right here comes from this string. So let's go ahead and change that. And we'll go ahead and just click Save. In just a second, okay. Now the only thing left to do would be to change the actual contents of this note card. This note card has all of the contents for synchronous. So I'll just change this real quick just to show that we are updating it. And then we'd want to obviously replace the text and the, the bullets from um, the appropriate text for this report. Click Save. Close out. And now, there's our floating text. We have them for all three. If I click Synchronous Learning, it wants to offer me the note card, eLearning Guild SLS, Keep, and this one's appropriate for that. So, again, a quick little way to create some interactivity using the note cards, and you can see how the text still zooms up, but if I go too far away, they, they, uh, they fade out.